Hey there, good morning everyone. Tim from Alpha Wolf Trading coming at you with the free Friday pre-market prep. It's free Friday, so hopping right into it. Stocks to watch for trading and investing. So uh, we're looking at a red open in equities in pre-market here. You know, trade war concerns, tariffs, all that stuff. Turkey stuff going on. We've got some stuff happening around the world that... Uh, has the markets a, a, a little nervous, you know, and I've noticed that there is, uh, now that earnings season is wrapping up for the most part, uh, you know, we've got, we've got some concerns out there from some of the talking heads on the financial networks, rising interest rates and, and all this other stuff. So uh, there's still going to be trading opportunities out there and there's still some really good looking setups. So Let's just go ahead and get right into it. BPI, actually, which wasn't on my list uh, for this morning, but it has a fantastic looking setup on the daily. Nice tight consolidation uh, just below a, a longer term trend line. I'm back this out a little bit here, but just below this longer term trend line. And uh, I, I really like the look of this on the weekly time frame I like it and now it, on the weekly it's it, we're extended right we've got a big gap to potentially fill down here but this nice tight consolidation I believe this pop was off of earnings as well this is one to keep an eye on uh, for potential breakout over the 1350 area with some conviction and this has got a fairly small float to 16.7 million shares of float very small float but worth keeping an eye on that now listen I've got Typically every morning for the pro members, I put out the charts and I, I type up my thoughts. I put post the news headlines with the charts. Uh, this morning, I just don't have enough time. I'm a little time constrained here. Got to take the dogs for a walk before the market starts. And I've got too many stocks to go through to type all that stuff up. So I just put the charts up on the blog. And if, uh, you know, if people want to know why I like them, then they're going to have to watch the video. So there you go. All right, so let's get into it right now. WOW reported earnings last last night. Had a great looking setup heading into earnings, consolidating just below the $11 holler. Let me see. It looked like they had beat. Um, it's not getting a lot of action. It's up over 11. It's at about 11.50 in pre-market. Not a lot of volume there. I believe this is a fairly, yeah, it's only got 29.5 million shares in the float, but trades decent volume, traded 447,000 shares yesterday, looking for this to maybe get some follow through. Maybe you look for a red to green on this one and pull back to $11, uh, see if that holds support, could be an entry for a bounce. Um, if not, if that doesn't hold, I, I think guidance was good on this as well. Uh, but a pullback into the $10 range, the 50-day moving average. We've got some potential price support there. What I like about this chart is we have the golden cross. We've got the 50 cr cr crossing over the 200-day. Uh, pretty good looking setup. This could be a swing trade potentially. If you get a pullback to support and it holds, could be a day trading opportunity if we get a lot of volume on a, uh, a break over this 11, 11.50 area. So worth keeping an eye on. W O W for either a day trade or a swing. V I V E. They reported last night. Let me see if it's doing anything in pre market. V I V E. Up a little bit, not a whole lot. Uh, I think there was some insider buying recently in this vibe, and I probably need to confirm that. Uh, Determine one month safety stage. All right, so this is early stage biotech. This is probably more of a day trading opportunity here than any, you know, than a swing. Let me see what we've got here. We've got insider buys, 5.7 million shares at four in March. We've got uh, offering price. Let's see, it looks like it priced at 4.23. So you know, they did an offer, and that was a while back. So uh, day trading opportunity, maybe a break over over this 50-day moving average. Maybe we get a three-dollar test. Just looking for some volume there and a potential scalp, maybe a day trade, but uh, not something I really want to hold over a weekend. TTD, this thing, 
Nice earnings report. The thing was in consolidation mo mode. Uh, huge pop. Over $100 now. $115.89. Beast, beast, beast. 27.3 million shares of float. Very tiny float. Expect this one to have some range today. This is uh, back here. Earnings gapped up and never came back and filled that gap. Just keeps on going. So, uh, look, I... Do I suggest buying it at $116? Probably not. Maybe what you look for is you look for a pullback into the $100 range, right? Nice round number. See if that holds as support for a bounce. Look for volume. Could be some good intraday action and nice range. Could be a day trading opportunity. Uh, I, you know, and then if, if you get it actually pull back into the $94 area, that could be an option for a swing or long-term hold. I'm not saying it's going to go to 94. I'm just saying if it comes back to $94, um, 90, what, 95, $96, somewhere in that area, it could be an, an opportunity for a swing. Uh, I would listen to the conference call, check out their balance sheet, all that stuff before you get involved in a, a uh, long-term hold. But the trend Looks le uh, lower left, upper right. Worth keeping an eye on that. Uh, Ruby. Ruby has had some insider buying. Uh, I like the setup. I watched it pretty closely yesterday. $3.40, I believe, it was the buy uh, by the uh, insider. You know, I'd love it on a pullback to about three twenty-five. dollars Now, uh, there is a gap, actually, to fill down here to about 3 bucks, And that could even be a, a more ideal entry on Ruby. I don't know if these guys have reported. Yes, they already they already reported earnings. That's behind them. Pull back to 325 or even 3 bucks could be ideal for a swing starter, maybe for a long-term hold consideration. If you like the story there, do your due diligence, but I like Ruby keeping an eye on that one for potential entry. SMRT We've got retail coming up, right? They haven't uh, reported it's either next week or the following week, but uh, SMRT had a nice pop back here. It's been consolidating, pulling back on lower volume. We got a little bit of a pop yesterday. Stochastic starting to curl up. I think worth keeping an eye on this one. Testing the 50 day moving average and a 250 roll. Maybe get a red to green on this. Looking for a day trading opportunity, potentially maybe even a short-term swing heading up into their earnings. You know, I think maybe you get a three test on this. That's a pretty decent uh, percentage return uh, on SMRT. And you've got a pretty clearly defined area to place your stop. So maybe you get this on a pullback to say 220, 230, somewhere in that area. Look for it to bounce. Worth keeping an eye on it. TAT uh, reported earnings, oil and gas play. Nice little pop there yesterday over all this cluster of moving averages. Maybe look for it to pull back to about 145. Red to green could be a day trading opportunity. This only got 24.1 million shares in the float. Very small float. Uh, trades normally pretty thin. Traded almost a million shares yesterday. Looking for potential follow through, right? A uh, little red to green action. Uh, ideally, pull back and test these moving averages again around 130. That could be an interesting spot for an entry. Uh, and then maybe, you know, if you get a nice little pop, maybe you hold some lottos for a swing for a couple, three days. Worth keeping an eye on TAT. SBBP. Uh, had news the other day. I think these guys need to raise capital, uh, but did actually get some fall. They had a, a nice little pop off some news, and then had a red to green yesterday. Did manage to barely close green out. Uh, could be a day trading opportunity. Like I said, I think these guys have to raise capital fairly soon, so I'd be somewhat careful with SBBP, but could be a day trading opportunity there on that one omex reported earnings you know this one has been a pop and flopper in the past you can see that here but uh just reported earnings he had a director that picked up 16,000 shares at 887 in may and it's sitting at seven dollars 28 cents it's getting a little bit of action in pre-market 
Um, this has got a small float, only 8 million shares in the float. Got up to about $7.50. Now you do have the 50 day moving average that could act as resistance overhead. You got a potential, you got potential price resistance there at $8. Uh, you take out eight, it, this could get pretty interesting, right? Especially with this low float. And if you've got some volume behind that, uh, it could be fun. It's only traded 51,000 shares yesterday. So it trades extremely thin. Uh, make sure you're aware of that. Play it size appropriate if you do decide to play it. But worth keeping an eye on OMEX. NOG uh, reported actually, I think, uh, yesterday. I had a nice little reversal candle there to close back above the 50 day. And, you know, oil and gas has been kind of consolidating, right? Energy names have been kind of consolidating. Oil pulling back the last couple of weeks. But, you know, I think these oil and energy names, there's several of them that I happen to like right now, like WTI, NOG, um, um, even that TAT that we just talked about. Uh, worth keeping an eye on some of these oil and gas names. I think uh, more of a swing, could be day trading opportunities, but I think more swings, they're at interesting levels for potential price support. And with the stuff that's going on with Iran and now Turkey, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe we see oil start to climb again. We see oil start to climb. Some of these energy names should look to follow. So they'll be tied to oil. You got to keep an eye on that. But I think it's worth keeping uh, these things on your radar. All right, CC. Uh, nice pop. I believe it was off of, a, was it off earnings or a contract? Hold on. It was off of earnings. So there's been consistent buying in this name, CFO, CEO, director, roughly 25,000 shares from the la over the last, uh, for the most recent buys from 574 to 861. <coughs> so we're out of the upper Bollinger Band. We had a, uh, th that candle from yesterday, not exactly a great candle, but uh, $8 support. You know, what I'm looking for actually is a pullback to about 750, 735. Uh, maybe even pull all the way back to seven bucks. That would be awesome. Uh, cause what was resistance look for that to potentially hold his support. And that could be an entry, maybe swing long-term hold consideration, 26 million shares in the float, fairly small float trades, fairly thin 287,000 shares traded hands yesterday. But, uh, I like CC. I like the setup on it and I would love it on a pullback to $7 for a starter, uh, for a swing. Or maybe even a long-term hold consideration. Uh, if we back this out to the weekly, let me bring this up here. I mean, we got a nice little rounding pattern here. You know, it's at an area of resistance, so a pullback to seven bucks. Maybe we get a little, little. Uh, cup with handle thing going on here i i like cc i don't i'm not suggesting to buy it here i'm suggesting keep an eye on it see if a pattern develops maybe like i said a pull back into the seven dollar range could be an interesting spot to take it uh let's see what else we've got going on here hold on a second trying to get through this stuff as fast as i can cdxc Breaking out uh, over the 200 day. Now this is up already four days in a row. Uh, Pierce in the upper Bollinger Band might need a little bit of time. Let me see if this is uh, CDXC. Not doing anything in pre-market. What was it? Looks like they had earnings. Uh, revenues increased 85%, 7.8 million. Nice headline. Problem is, fourth day of the move into the news. Maybe look for this to pull back to 450 or so. See if that holds support right around the 20 day. Uh, fourth, maybe get a red to green, right? Pull back to 450 and then bounce. Um, see if this gets any follow through on this move. Flirting with the 200 day. I, I, I like the look of it. I just like to see it on a pullback or a bounce. Could be a day trading opportunity. 
could be a swing if you're pulled back maybe to the 50 day somewhere around four bucks where you've got some potential price support that could be interesting awx low float mania uh awx had a very nice pop yesterday it was getting some action uh right to, let me see awx in uh post market it got uh got some pretty good action pre-market got up to about four dollars and 87 cents maybe look for this to be in play this one just had a crazy run uh, up into the 20s i don't expect it to go back up into the 20s but hey you never know uh just a day trading opportunity there do not chase it it's got 1.8 million shares in the float look for a clean intraday setup before you go getting involved in awx and if you play it play it size appropriate don't try to hit a home run our uh let's see what else we have going on r-i-b-t oh yeah r-i-b-t Yesterday, I mentioned uh, in the video, I like the packaged food space. Uh, what is it? SMPL, uh, NOMD, and then there's this RIBT, which has had some significant insider buying. Uh, pretty much in this area, I think this is worth keeping an eye on for either a swing opportunity on a pullback uh, with an entry close to the 50-day uh, moving average or maybe a day trading opportunity with some volume on a breakout uh, over 275 with volume. So uh, I, I'm looking at this bit more of a long-term hold or, or swing possibility because of the fact that we've had some pretty significant insider buys and love to get it at a, on a pullback to uh, potential price support. Maybe build a, get a starter and look to build into the position. But uh, RIBT only has 13.6 million shares in the float and could be one to keep an eye on for a swing or even possibly a day trading opportunity. Uh, FNKO, Funko, reported earnings last night. Now look, <coughs> Funko had a nice run into earnings. They had uh, great earnings and I think good guidance. Um, but it probably needs to take a little breather, right? And I mean, it, it, it's had a, a pretty big run in a short period of time. Uh, looking for it maybe to pull back. Now it, it had some range last night, actually. It looks like it went up to 22 bucks, came all the way down to looks like about 1850. Oh, actually I'm showing a low of 1755. So uh, it had some range last night, right? So. 1750 you know 16 bucks maybe 16 dollars is an interesting spot to look at funko i think goldman sachs came out and downgraded these guys recently uh i like the the look and the trend of funko it's had a pretty big run right now it's sitting at about 20 bucks i think you know a pullback into the uh into the 50-day moving average area 15 dollars would be uh, really interesting spot for it and you know I'm not saying it's going to 15 maybe pull back to $18 look for the some volume here this traded 1.1 million shares only has 10.4 million shares in the float maybe it pulls back to 1780 you get a bounce for a little scalp trade for a swing or long-term old consideration though I'd like it closer to $16 that's where I'd like to take it maybe and start building a starter on a pullback to potential price support. So that's Funko. It's getting just a little bit extended on daily. And you'll be able to see that on the chart also on the uh, on the blog. And then last one, I'm gonna end it with ENT. Uh, ENT, nice pop, heading up into earnings. So actually moved four days in earnings, tested three bucks in pre-market. Looks like earnings, they're heading in the right direction for ENT. Now it's testing three bucks. That actually might wind up being resistance, might see a pullback here. What I'm looking for in ENT, I kind of like it more as a swing or long-term hold on a pullback to say 250 and have that be my entry. Uh, 250, 225 is where it kind of would like to enter on this one, but may not get that opportunity. If we take out 310, 
with volume could be a day trading opportunity there and let me take a look and see what this looks like on the weekly so you know we've got some resistance here in the 350 area right so uh, ideally maybe you look for a pullback say so if you're, you're trying to get maybe a, a day trading opportunity out of this maybe you look for a pullback to 250 260 and hopefully you get a reversal and head up towards that three dollar and fifty cent range where we've got some price resistance uh it's only got 51.5 million shares in the float i'm not sure what the short interest is on it um but i like ent i like the look of it i'm considering it more for a swing you know this is a competitor to go go they do marine as well as uh air media and I, I i like the setup I, I think this has got a new ceo there as well focused on reducing their costs got insider buys from a dollar two to dollar 97. it's so got a lot of stuff i like about this one for uh you know consideration for a swing or a long-term hold and that's it hey listen it could be an interesting day it's friday um markets are equities are down in pre-market don't chase always have a plan know your risk reward and if you can't find the right opportunity there's nothing wrong with just sitting on your hands so that's it have a, a fantastic day trading good luck to you and i'll see you all next week